I should say we just uh, got some unverified footage which purports to show the aftermath of the plane uh, crashing uh, in that border area. I should stress that we've been unable to verify this at the moment, but nevertheless, there we go. Essentially, the information that we're getting at the moment largely comes from the Turkish Prime Minister, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. He told an election rally that Turkish F-16 jets targeted this Syrian warplane. He didn't name the make of the Syrian warplane because that plane violated Turkish airspace. If you violate our airspace, we will slap you down, the Turkish Prime Minister said. What are the wider repercussions of this, James? I think many people on both sides of the border may hope that this is just an isolated skirmish. Uh, Turkey and Syria uh, have engaged in isolated skirmishes over the last couple of years since they've been on opposing sides of Syria's war. And those skirmishes haven't led to a broader or deeper conflict, largely because neither side is interested in declaring or carrying out open war against the other. There's nothing in it for either side. But nevertheless, there is tension between the two. They share a border of more than 900 kilometers, 500 miles long. More than 70 Turkish people have been killed in Syria-related violence in the last couple of years.